Hi, I'm Tom from Lee Music Co. And I'm here with James from Simon and Patrick and Seagull Guitars. Yes, you are. And this is the first in a series of videos that we're doing talking about acoustic guitars, what makes them different, what makes them sound different, and their construction. Mm. So, James, what have we got here? This well, this is a Simon and Patrick. This is from our Trek series. Yep. Um, Trek is our entry level stuff. Yep. Uh, very, very good, solid Sitka spruce top. Okay. Uh, the shape of this is folk. Right, okay. So our folk shape uh, tends to, um, it will probably accommodate finger pickers very, very well. Okay. Uh, a smaller guitar doesn't take as much work with the right hand to generate the tone to make the top move. Okay. So if you're a finger picker, smaller body guitar, thumbs up, we Let's like that. that. Um, yeah, obviously, uh, as I said, it's a Sitka spruce top, solid. Okay. All of our tops are pressure tested, so there's a lot to uh, lot to talk about, which I won't go too much into because it's a very long conversation. But um, essentially, this is a very, very well graded top, so it's a really okay. good solid top. And when we're talking about tops, mm. that's where all the sound comes from, right? Yeah, okay. a lot so, of the tone comes from the top. Yeah. So if it's a one, you know, a pressure tested top like ours are, which means that it's been uh, graded properly and thoroughly, mm. um, it's going to be of a certain level. If it doesn't reach our standards we discard it. We recycle the timber, but we, it won't make a top. So all of our guitars are very, very good tops. Okay, cool. And what sort of sound will a guitar like this generate because of that? You know, because um, of yeah, that's a good question. So spruce, if you look at it, a little sort of um, note to self when you're sort of looking at guitars, and this isn't unique to us, this mm -hmm. is any guitar maker. Yep. Um, if you look at the, you know, we're talking about guitars without finishes on, if you look at a guitar, in a natural finish, that's probably what it will sound like. So if it looks bright, mm -hmm. to explain what I mean, it's probably going to sound a little bit bright. Okay. If it's mahogany and it looks sort of earthy, it's going to sound earthy. It's going to sound mid more warmth or warmth to the tone. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, there are exceptions, obviously, but that's just a general good sort of rule of thumb. Okay. Um, we use wild cherry on the back of this guitar. Okay. Um, so back and sides are important as well. When yes, it comes they to construction. are. This is a layered wild cherry, so this isn't solid, um, but okay. it, because it is um, layered, it makes it it's solid in the sense that it's very strong. Yep. So that helps. Uh, uh, bounce the sound back out the guitar very very well. Um, we use uh, rosewood on the fingerboard here, um, but yeah. So the, the, the obviously the quality of the top and the pairing of whatever it's made with on the back will alter the the sound. Okay. And this particular model is electro, isn't it? As well? This is electro. So. Yeah, we're working very closely with Fishman. This is an uh, ISYS uh, system, so um, mm -hmm. you know Fishman obviously very well known pickup manufacturer and we work really closely with them okay. so they install the pickups they know the guitars very well um, so that the two work very harmoniously together okay so let's give it a listen what does, it sound what, it sound? Like? what does this one sound like let's have a little listen It's very clear, it's very clean. Mm. Yeah. 